that all right? Are you happy with life? Yeah, I'm happy enough, yeah. Hi, my name is Damien O'Shea. I'm here with Garak Fieri, an acoustic guitarist from Dublin. Coming through your door, you may as well be lying on the floor. Garak, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, my name is Garak Fieri. I'm from Dublin. And uh, yeah, I've been playing around the circuit probably around three years now. Um, I've released an EP and I've toured a lot. And um, yeah, I've done a, I've done a, a fair, a fair whack of gigs in the last few years, and a fair few festivals under my belt, and I'm currently in the process of recording my new album, my debut album, debut album, yeah. I was a drummer initially. I bought my first drum kit when I was 12. And I always just wanted to be involved in music, like there was nothing else that really clicked with me. setting up a few gigs um, in Germany at the moment and um, yeah mainly concentrating on the album though um, have you toured outside of Ireland before yeah yeah I did a, a two-week tour in New York about a year ago just over a year ago um, of all of its establishments like the Rockwood Music Hall and um, Shrine in Harlem and different places, yeah. Sitting out in my boat, love, feeling like I have no place to go. We have a show, in a show, in a show, me the way. You were saying there you, uh, you toured uh, New York, um, how long did, did that tour last? Uh, in total about 14 days, yeah. And like, what kind of exposure did you get over there? Um, a, a fair bit. It was, it was the first kind of time going over and playing, so I've never never done New York before, I've never done America before, so it was kind of, it was, it was a chance for me to get out there and try to get my name out, you know, without, um, like it, it was a big deal to me, but over there it wouldn't have been, you know. saying there you have something lined up in Germany uh, what how many dates have you in journey um, I'm still I'm still rounding off times and rounding off dates at the moment it's it's kind of getting confusing at the moment but yeah it's looking like it could be three weeks in Germany at the moment so yeah really looking forward to that hopefully I'll have the dates now soon enough so you kind of have a, a mixed booking schedule like for yeah. Ireland and Europe and stuff at the moment you could say that yeah yeah I'm looking to get over to London really soon too and maybe back over to New York as well yeah so yeah, I really want to do it. In the next six months, I have, I want to finish off the album and release a single. Yeah. Have you have you got a name for the album yet? No, not yet. No, yeah, no, no. I have a name for the first single though. Show me the way. I suppose I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, I'm not trying to get rid of, but. I wrote an awful lot about the sea and about like surrounding areas like beaches and you know just being lost really at sea. And uh, I'm trying to kind of get rid of all them songs because I want to move on. I'm not living in the in, in, on an island anymore. I'm living in in the city, you know, in Dublin city. So it's uh, it's something that I want to kind of just like kind of put in a bag and just leave it there, you know, and start writing something that I'm my current surroundings. The song 20% is very emotional, 
That's what I. Yeah. Was, was that was that very personal to you that song? Absolutely, or? yeah. It was the first time I remember um, ever writing a song. I was 15 when I wrote that, and that's come a long way. Like I'm 24 now, you know, so it's coming off a long way with me. Um, and it's made it onto my, my first EP, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, no, it was a very, very emotional, very personal experience. You had a 20% chance of life. You had 10 years into your courage and bravery. You wrote a song called Waves. Was yeah. there any connection to the? I know Ghost of States also wrote a song called Waves In Waves. Waves. Was there any influence <laughs> or any connection between the two you write in your writing? Or? Waves was released long before the Ghost of States Waves. And anyway, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no. Okay. It's, it's it's mad because it's it's funny you say that because uh, Villagers have a song called Waves as well. Yeah. Ghost of States have a song called Waves, and I have a song called Waves. But uh, I actually had it out before Conor O'Brien as well. So. Uh, Have you any date set for the album? Or? Yeah, well I'm looking at releasing a single before Christmas. I'm hoping September, you know, as soon as the festival circuit comes down. And then hopefully the album, end of January, start of February. Thanks very much for listening.